WOL or WIC online is very useful for system administrators or home laborers or anyone who wants to save energy when you don't use the computer, but wake it up remotely without needing you to go to the computer and physically push the power on button. So in this video, we will talk about WOL. In the right side of the screen, I show you the Wake Online article from Wikipedia. It's a standard allow computer to be turned on from sleep mode by a network message. There are two very important things when it comes to WOL, the sleep mode and the network message. So in the left side, as you can see, this is a proposal by AMD and HP. From the date, you can see it was in 1995, long, long ago. So if you are interested, you can check what's the original proposal about the so-called magic packet. That was mentioned in the Wikipedia article about network message used to wake up the computer. There are a lot of factors that may impact whether or how WOL works in your environment. For example, the BIOS, the CPU architecture, the operating system, and the version of the operating system, and the network interface card. So there are no ways I can talk about everything in one single video. I am going to have three follow-up videos on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux in three different operating systems, different hardwares, how Wake Online works. In this video, let's focus on Magic Packet. WOL is closely related to sleep mode. When people talk about sleep mode, naturally people use the words like sleep, hibernate, power off, right? But sometimes the same sleep word means different things. Just to be more specific, many people will use the sleep states from the ACPI. So in the right side of the screen, you can see ACPI is the standard for power management. If you scroll down this Wikipedia article, you can see this table. It mentioned the SX values they are the sleep states described in ACPI. For example, Windows and Linux, they directly use the S values here. For Mac OS, it's a different thing. We will discuss them in my follow-up videos. In the good old days, when people talk about sleep, most of the time, people talk about the S3 mode, suspend to RAM. In different operating systems, different hardwares, the WOL worked consistently. But after Intel and Microsoft pushed the so-called S0 low power idle mode or modern standby mode very hard, in many modern hardwares and operating systems, this mode is the only option when it comes to sleep already. And the WOL situation has become very complicated. So in this video, because we are going to only focus on the magic packet, we will only talk about in S3, S4, S5 mode, whether the WOL works and how it works. So let's see in the legacy mode how work on LAN operates. This is my lab environment. I use Ubiquiti Unify switches and Unify access points. When it comes to router, I use PFSense. I will use different operating system, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, different generations of hardware. And I will use either the Ethernet, the wired mode, or Wi-Fi, the wireless mode, to try wake on LAN and wake on wireless LAN. And sometimes to check the magic packet, I'm going to use Wireshark to capture the network frames. Okay, let's get started. Let's first talk about what a magic packet is on paper. It's a very simple frame sent as a broadcast, and it contains anywhere within its payload, six bytes of or F and followed by 16 MAC address of the target machine. This is how simple it is. 
And then here you can see in real world, normally it's sent as a UDP datagram to these three possible parts or directly over Ethernet. But later you will see this second thing, the part number thing. It's not really a hard requirement. In fact, PFSS doesn't send the magic packet using these parts. But it doesn't matter because as long as the frame meets this requirement, the target machine will treat it as a magic packet. And contradicting to many discussions, magic packets also work in Wi-Fi world in WLAN. In this video, I'm going to use two different ways to trigger the magic packets. One way is using the built-in service from PFSense. The other way is I'm going to use some standalone free tool to simply send the magic packet to the target. And I'm going to test in both wired, the Ethernet cable way, and the Wi-Fi way. To make it more interesting, I'm going to differentiate how the source computer is connected to the network and how the target computer is connected to network. So I'm going to test these four different scenarios. Of course, before we start the four different testings, let me first prepare the Unify switch so that we can capture the magic packets. This is the Unified Network Controller. I'm trying to configure the parts for the Unified Switch I use in this testing. As you can see, there are totally eight parts. Part seven is connected to the target computer, Windows machine. To capture the magic packet, I'm going to use a Mac computer, and it is connected to this part six. Let me click on part six. I set it in manual mode. The operation is mirroring and it's going to mirror the part seven. So basically whatever packets flow to part seven to the Windows machine, I'm going to receive the exact same thing in part six so that I can capture the exact situation as what the Windows machine sees. In fact, you may realize I don't really have to set up port mirroring because the magic packet is sent in a broadcasting way. So theoretically, I can capture the packet using any part in the same switch. But just to make sure I capture the exact same thing received by the target machine, I set up the port mirroring anyway. This is the screen layout I'm going to use in this corner. I show you the PFSense and in the left bottom corner, I use a ping session to ping the target Windows machine. And then this is the target Windows machine. Let's go to the Windows machine first to check the current power configuration. So first run this command power config with the available sleep states parameter. Because in this video, I'm going to discuss the magic packet. I pick a basic Windows machine. It only support S3. This machine also support Hibernate. Perfect for this testing. Okay, let me use another parameter to run the same command. Device query, wake programmable. Basically, it lists all the hardware which may wake the machine from sleep mode. As you can see, I already have the Ethernet network interface controller and the Wi-Fi card. So I have both listed here already, which means those two network interface cards, they are already enabled, are able to receive the wake on LAN packets. They will interpret them, they will react. But if you don't see your network interface cards listed here, you can simply go to device manager, find your interface card, and then go to power management. Make sure you have this allow the device to wake the computer checked. And if you want, you can also check this checkbox. Only allow a magic packet to wake the computer. Okay. I already set it up and it's the same setting for the Wi-Fi card. I won't show you. Okay, we are all set. Let me put this computer in sleep mode. Before that, let me ping the IP address for the network card. Okay, it's pingable, of course. Then let me put it to sleep. Okay. 
as you can see in the left side, the pin is already failing. And for the right side, it still needs some time to refresh. Okay, now the, the computer is in sleep mode already, right? So let's try the first testing scenario from PFSense. Let me send a wake online magic packet to the Windows. From PFSense and their services, the very last one is the built-in wake online service and i already defined several mac address this particular one is for the mac address of the network interface card for the lan mode for the ethernet cable mode let me click this button to send the magic packet okay i can already see the led light is on for my machine Okay, see both the remote desktop and the pin resumed. We successfully wake the machine up from the sleep mode. Let's do it again. This time, let's capture the magic packet. I already launched Wireshark, capture the interface EN0, which is the one connected to part six. I just show you in Unified Network Controller. I set it to mirror part seven, right? So let me double click it. It's already started capturing, but so many unrelevant packets are received. Let me filter on WOL. Now nothing appears. And then let me put the Windows machine to sleep again. Okay, I can confirm from the LED light of the computer, it's in sleep mode. Let me repeat the same operation send a magic packet from pfsense see immediately it captured a packet i can confirm the computer is wait up already so let me stop capturing then let's examine the captured magic frame you can see it's a udp frame see the destination part is 40,000. it's not 079 as mentioned in most articles about magic frames let's check what's in the datagram see the very first part six bytes of ff and then it followed by 16 repeated mac address of the target windows machine if you compare the mac address with the one we have on pfsense you can confirm they are exactly the same so just by using this simple pattern, the target machine can recognize, okay, this UDP packet is a magic packet. The target computer needs to wake up. This is how simple the magic frame is. By the way, from the destination of the magic frame, you can see it's a broadcast frame. Let's proceed to the second scenario. In this scenario, I'm going to run the wake online command from a Mac machine shown in this corner, and it's only connected to the network using Wi-Fi. As you can see in the diagram, the AP itself is connected to the same switch with the Windows machine, right? So in the end, when the magic packet arrives, the Windows machine, it is still over LAN. So even though I send the magic packet through Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. It's still wake over LAN. So then this time, because I used a different tool, let's still capture the packet. Let's see whether the magic packets are different compared to PFSense. Let me restart the capturing. Okay, and it's already filtered on WOL in the Windows machine. Let me put it to sleep. Now from the terminal of the Mac machine, let me run the wake online command using the Mac address of the network interface card of the Windows machine. Right? I can already tell the Windows machine was already made up. The magic frame did work. And in the Wireshark, you can see a new packet is captured already, right? From the frame, you can see it's the exact same content. 6FF followed by 16 MAC address. No difference. 
but if you check the UDP target part, this time it's 9. Remember, many articles, when they talk about the UDP data diagram target part, they mention 079, right? Yes, this standalone tool, it does send the UDP magic packet to part 9. Okay, that's interesting difference if compared to PFSense, even though it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we already successfully finished the two test cases for the wake on LAN scenarios. Let's move on to wake on WLAN. In the third scenario, let me run the command line week on LAN tour from the Mac machine is only connected using Wi-Fi and then the Windows machine is also connected to the same AP using Wi-Fi and then let's see whether the week on WLAN works. So from this terminal, let me ping the IP address for the Windows machine. This time it's the IP address for Wi-Fi. Okay, it's reachable from the Windows machine. Put it to sleep mode. Okay, it works. Now from the Mac machine, let me run the wake on LAN command line tool against this Mac address, Wi-Fi card Mac address for the Windows machine, right? Okay, the ping session became successful and then the windows was made up. Okay, so you can easily tell the wake on WLAN also works. Let me quickly move on to the very last test case. Very similar, but this time let me issue the magic packet from PFSense. Remember the PFSense is connected to the network using Ethernet cable, right? So why this case is also weak on WLAN? Because when the magic packet reaches the Windows machine, it's sent from the AP using Wi-Fi to the Windows machine. Now I have unplugged the Ethernet cable from the Windows machine. The Windows machine is also only connected to the network using Wi-Fi. I'm ready to put it to sleep. Then let me launch PFSense. Use this MAC address, which is the Wi-Fi car's MAC address for the Windows machine. Let me click this button. Okay, you can see it's successful. The testings we just did, they were only for this S3 sleep state, the classic sleep mode. Let's discuss a little bit about Hibernate and the power off. So let's see whether in S4 and S5 mode, the wake on LAN magic packets also work. It's time to mention BIOS. Depending on the vendors, you may see totally different user interface when it comes to power management for your machine. This is an example from AMI. As you can see, the highlighted configuration item, resume on LAN, is enabled. Don't be confused by the wording of resume. It's not just for Hibernate. Basically, this setting means for S4 and S5, it is enabled. Let's go back to the testing environment and quickly go through the Hibernate and the power off mode wake on LAN testing. So in the ping window, let me ping the IP address of the Windows machine, put it to Hibernate mode. Hibernate. Okay. Okay, it's effective. Then from PFSense, let me send the magic packet. So from the physical PC, I can see the power button is already off. Let me click on this button. Okay. I can see the physical LED button is on, so the PC is weighed up. Give it some time, you can see the ping will resume. Okay, so you can see the ping is successful now, right? So which means for week on LAN, the S4 mode, hibernate mode, 
the magic packet works. So let me power it off. And back to the Windows machine. This time, let me shut it down completely. Okay, it's shut down. Let's see whether the magic packet still works. Of course, you need to keep your machine plugged into your power source, right? That's why S5 is only for soft off. It's not for mechanical off. Let me send the magic packet. Okay, it works exactly the same way as Hibernate. The PC is booting now. It's weighed up already. Okay, after a while, you can see the ping is successful. We just proved for this particular machine, the wake on LAN works for both S4 and S5 sleep mode. You may think, yeah, then for wake on WLAN, it should work the same way, right? No, let's see how it works. This time, let me ping the IP address for the Wi-Fi card. Okay, it's reachable, of course. Then let me put it to hibernate mode first. Then let me send a magic packet to the Wi-Fi card from PFSense. Send it. I can already tell the machine works with up. Give it some time. Okay, it's done, right? So, so far so good. Now let's try the soft off, the S file mode for wake on WLAN. As you can see now, the ping is successful, right? So which means the Windows is connected to the same network using Wi-Fi. Then let me shut it down completely. Okay, it's shut down. Moment of truth, let me send a magic packet. Nothing happened. No matter how many times I try, it's the same thing. The PC just refuses to be weighed up. So which means, at least for this particular PC, Wacom WLAN doesn't work in S5 mode. Okay, this is the end of this video. In my future video, I'm going to talk in more details about Wacom LAN and sleep mode for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Thanks for watching.